Hi everybody, hope you are all well. This is Fred here. Welcome to my channel. So today I will be showing you something uh, many dairy farmers, most of those are coming, those have not uh, uh, been with animals for so long. Uh, this is a hyper here. It was uh, inseminated on Sunday. Yeah, it is a hyper. It was inseminated on Sunday. I wanted you to show something. So guys, I don't know if you can see clearly. Uh, uh, it uh, this this hyper was uh, inseminated on Sunday, but today uh, I saw some blood. Yeah, when I was cleaning the shed. So there are two scenarios when you see blood. I don't. It is not staying the way I want it to stay. But uh, here you can see blood. Here you see this blood. Yeah, and uh, at the tail you see there is a uh, blood still. Yeah, it is gross, but uh, I just wanted to farmers to see this. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Well. Yeah, you can see it well now. So these, these means that either the it consumed or it didn't. Yeah. So don't worry whenever you see such uh, blood on after insemination. But it must be two to three days after insemination. So if you see this blood, don't uh, worry because there are two probabilities. One, it if it conceived, it has conceived, or it has not. But it's a good indication that the cow was on heat. So you have to do to be very sure on that. So it is a good indication that uh, the the heifer was on heat, as you can see here. Yeah. Now. What are you supposed to do when you see this? You are supposed to give it... Uh, you are supposed to count from 18 to most farmers say 21, but I would I suggest that uh, you count from 18 days from the day that you see Brad up to 24th day, yeah? Up to 24th day. So once you do that, you will uh, be able to know if it is uh, conceived or not, yeah? And that's why... I reiterated the, the the fact of uh, the need of having records. Yeah, you see the needs of having records. You must have records whether you like it or not. So you go to a carrier that you indicate this this heifer or this cow was inseminated on this day, and uh, on this day I saw Brad. Yeah, as you can see, I saw Brad, and then after that you have to to counting counting. You wait. Hopefully it is conceived. So for me, I'm going to wait from 18 to 24 days from the day of insemination. I'll, and then uh, I will update you guys whether it is conceived or not. Yeah. The joy of every farmer is uh, your cow or heifer to, to, con uh, to conceive and not to abort. So guys, you have to check to when. And for heifers, you have to take uh, good uh, management. Make sure where it uh, the stripping area is very dry and comfortable. For the first three months, you have to be very very keen on that, yeah. So to avoid uh, abortion, and make sure it uh, stays around, yeah. So they are not they are not fighting with any other animal, yeah. So you have to be very very keen on that guy. So whenever you see blood after insemination, don't worry. It uh, means you are a good farmer and means that uh, you knew that uh, your cow was on heat for those who for those cows that have silent heat you have to be very very keen yeah uh but the best thing that you can do is feed your cow well provide mineral salt yeah and uh, give good fodder and then the, the the stripping area clean water all those steps that you need to undertake as a dairy farmer so guys whenever you see blood after insemination don't worry yeah don't worry yeah you can even uh call your vet and uh, the vet will tell you that's a good indication it was in heat let's wait for 18 to 24 days other says 21 but me i'll tell you 18 to 24 days so guys thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and let's grow this channel to keep educating each other so thank you for your time and have a wonderful time